Whit Johnson leading us off from the campaign trail. Tonight, three candidates rocketing out of New Hampshire with a head of steam, leading the pack by a hair, Senator Bernie Sanders. So are you the front runner now? Well, I don't care what the definition is. But Pete Buttigieg, who came in a close second, is already taking aim. Thank you, New Hampshire! Buttigieg sharpening his attacks on Sanders, a self-declared democratic socialist who's promising free college tuition and Medicare for all. I don't think that uh, uh, even progressives uh, really want to be in a world where uh, we can't keep our promises. Amy Klobuchar, who finished a strong third, now looking to reintroduce herself to voters. Hello, America. I'm Amy Klobuchar, and I will beat Donald Trump. The senator flying straight to New York to raise money. She hasn't yet shown the fundraising muscle of her rivals, not to mention the hundreds of millions of dollars one candidate is spending on his own campaign. Michael Bloomberg today on the stump in Tennessee. I'm sorry, we just never expected a crowd this big. I'm so flattered. Uh, I think we must, we must have some momentum going here. He's been building support in the Super Tuesday states, while the other candidates battled it out in Iowa and New Hampshire. How concerned are you about facing him and that money machine? I'm not worried. We're working hard. We're talking to people. We're answering the questions. And Mr. Bloomberg says, hey, I'm worth $60 billion. I don't have to worry about that stuff. What do you say to Democrats who argue that you're trying to buy this election? I'm not trying to buy the election. Whit Johnson with Bernie Sanders there today. So let's get to Whit. He's live in New Hampshire. And Whit, Joe Biden left the state, as we all know, to go to South Carolina before the results were even in in New Hampshire. Uh, he hopes South Carolina will be part of his firewall. That's right, David. Joe Biden looking for a fresh start, making the case that only two states with small, predominantly white populations have spoken. He says black and Latino Democrats need to have their say, and he's banking on a much stronger performance in Nevada and especially South Carolina. And David, he needs it. Whit Johnson with us again tonight from New Hampshire. Whit, thank you.